All right, what is going on everyone? Thank you all so much for stopping by the card dojo. My name is Sean and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. Well guys, it is Wednesday and as you know, we like to wing it. But from now on, we're going to be doing Fantasy Rip League on Wednesdays, guys. Tomorrow is opening day of the NFL season. And FRL is back, so this is my week one entry. Uh, if you're new to Fantasy Rip League, I'll explain it uh, briefly. And if you're, you know, a returning regular, you know what's up. We're doing it a little bit different. Uh, we're doing like four mini tournaments so that more people can get involved with uh, less, less commitment um, to a whole season, which could be difficult finding products. And uh, if you're interested, if you think this is fun, you can always join up for next month. Uh, contact Ethan at Bracket Basic Sports Cards. All of the guys who are participating will be in the description, uh, hopefully. So, uh, Prestige 2021, guys, four packs per box. We're going to get some uh, parallels and hopefully some number cards and an auto to help set a lineup uh, for week one. A fantasy lineup based on whatever cards I pull. And then there are also multipliers that make things more interesting if you pull like unique cards. And we'll try to save the auto, hopefully, uh, for somewhere near last. Uh, and there's a kid reporter to get out of the way. So, Chase Edmonds, Andy Dalton, Jimmy G, Aaron Jones. And our first parallel is going to be, um, what is that? I can't read it. But Sean Slater for the Chargers. So, um, guard. So he's not going to do much, much, much good for a fancy rip league. You can't really use guards. Uh, moving on to the next one. It looks like we have a, uh, a parallel rookie. Again, for Kellen Mond, so um, numbered 154 out of 199. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be using this one either. I don't think he's he's playing for the Vikings quite quite yet. But there you go, a numbered rookie quarterback, not bad. Behind him, I see uh, a PC hit for the secondary PC New York Giants youth movement for Daniel Jones. So a good starting quarterback possibility. We'll put him next to his fellow uh, giant uh, Saquon right there. All right, uh, some rookies. Dynam, Dynami, Diami, Diami Brown, uh, Etienne Jr., who unfortunately is out for the season, and finally, uh, Jamar Jefferson for the Detroit Lions. So that was one pack. That was one pack, guys. We're on to the next. Um, nothing too big for the Rip League or for, like, you know, a PC hit or anything like that, but it's okay. We still have three more packs to go. Um, all right. There might be a backwards cards there. So this might be our auto hit. Should we save it for the end? No, we're, we're going to roll with it, guys. All right, so there's a good qu uh, rookie quarterback, Justin Fields. We'll stand up some cards. Uh, maybe we'll play him, possibly. Maybe. Uh, Simi Fayoko, receiver for the Cowboys, rookie. Uh, Devontae Smith, another rookie for the Eagles. We have a Preston Williams. Lamar Jackson, another good quarterback option. No parallel, unfortunately. No multiplier. Denzel Mims. Uh, here's an extra points for Jerry Judy. So there you go. A nice receiver option with a numbered parallel. That would be a times three multiplier, I do believe. 176 out of 299, the red parallel. Um, we can absolutely use Jerry Judy. And the next parallel will be um, upside down. Who is it? David Bak Bakhtari. I'm not really sure. And he is, what is he? He's with the Packers, obviously. Uh, I think he's offensive line. I'll look into it later on. So we're going to move on. Here's another nice parallel. Another number parallel for uh, Austin Eckler. So there you go. Another playable person with a times three multiplier. We'll see how the matchup is. And this card, maybe it's not a uh, auto. It is um, Josh Allen. Allen cashes in for six. Okay. That's a pretty cool little moment. Almost reminds me of a pro set from back in the day. Uh, not numbered, but another quarterback option to uh, consider for our lineup, which I will do at the end of this episode. We're going to combine it all into one. We don't have too many cards to get through. Uh, is there backwards cards here? There's something shiny. So maybe like a hero or something. Uh, let's see. Brian Burns, Deion Jones, Austin Hooper. Uh, is he a tight end? Duh. Why can't I remember? Uh, we'll, we'll look back. All right, Melvin Gordon, the third, extra points, parallel. So that'd be a times two multiplier if I want to start him. Um, followed by Dwayne Eskridge, uh, numbered, no, just extra points. Um, receiver for the Seattle Seahawks, rookie. So that's not bad, rookie quarterback, or rookie parallel, not quarterback. Uh, here's a new one, a new parallel, I should say. Pretty cool looking. 
This is out of 75, Trey McKitty. So another rookie. We're doing pretty good with the number of rookie parallels. Unfortunately, I don't know where we're going to be starting them. He is a tight end for the Chargers, so we'll see. I'll have to check, check out the uh, the depth chart, but that could be a possible starter. And uh, behind them, we do have a, uh, a Heroes for DeAndre Hopkins. So unfortunately, that would have been sweet if that was numbered. But we'll still have a pretty good... Uh, option there at receiver with DeAndre Hopkins just uh, a single multiplier just a times one but still pretty good anyway we'll put him in the back over um yeah sure all right uh, Chris Evans Kenneth Gainwell and finally Des Fitzpatrick so we saved the auto hopefully for last in this pack I'm hoping for Patrick Mahomes <clears throat> why because I don't know it's high hopes guys we're, we're hoping to shoot for the moon I know we can get crazy things in these prestige sometimes so you never know. I'm trying to put it in the back, but I'm struggling. Okay, I think I got it. I think we got it, guys. On to the, uh, is this rookie? No, Dalvin Cook extra points. That's pretty good. Great option at running back with the times two uh, multiplier. I think that's what the um, the hyper is. It's called the hyper parallel. So times two on a um, Dalvin Cook. Okay, here we go. Uh, Dallas Goddard out of 249. Um, this is going to be, uh, he's a tight end, correct? Um, horrible. Yeah, <laughs> guys, on on the fly, I just I just uh, overthink things. So there we go, another number parallel, good option to start possibly. Um, Justin Jefferson, insert for time stamped. Oh ho ho! On some rookies, where did my insert pile go? We're not gonna cover up the hero. We'll put, put him over there. Um, Gary Berthwell, or Brightwell, if I could read. Josh Palmer. We got Jacob Harris. Here we go, Chris Jones for the Chiefs, so we can start the Chiefs defense, or we can start Chris Jones as a, uh, a kicker slash defensive player. I don't think we pulled many uh, kickers, or any, I, sh I should say. Um, here's Ed Oliver, Ryan Tannehill, guys, and finally, should we just uh, flip it and see on a count of three? One, two, three, it is Zach Wilson. All right, there we go, the New York Jets, not bad at all. Um, nice rookie quarterback autograph for our neighbors there in a... Uh, MetLife Stadium, Zach Wilson. I'm pretty sure, is he starting? I think so. He's got a decent little autograph there. So there you go. QB Auto. Um, red. Is it numbered? Or is it just red? I don't know. I don't think it's numbered, but still, we got a rookie quarterback autograph. Cannot complain about that. Prestige Mega Boxes are always uh, fun. We got the uh, the heroes, and I think we might get a decent lineup. So I'm going to pause it, come back, and see what we're, we're going to play for this week. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to set my eight-card lineup. So for defense and uh, defensive player, I only had four choices. I only had, um, here we go, Deion Jones, uh, Chris Jones, Brian Burns, and Ed Oliver. So for my defensive team, I'm going to go with uh, the Buffalo Bills. So Ed Oliver will represent the Buffalo Bills. All right, I had no kicker. Therefore, for my, my defensive player or kicker, I'm going with... Uh, a chief. I want to play a chief. Chris Jones will get his individual points and uh, no multipliers on either of those cards, unfortunately. So, uh, but otherwise, we did pretty good with everything else. So, moving right along to uh, tight end. Only three options. We had Hooper, no multiplier. We had uh, the rookie, Trey McKitty, with the times three multiplier, but I'm not going to use him. I'm going with. Um, Dallas Goddard with the, uh, the times three multiplier. So that's my tight end times three. He's not rated too bad, so I have a. I'm pretty confident with that. Uh, moving on to, let's see, let's do receiver. Um, one was pretty much an easy decision, I guess, because of the times three multiplier. Jerry Judy will be my main receiver. Um, otherwise, I had a Justin Jefferson, and what I'm going with is the D Hop. Uh, times one so unfortunately times one but the D hop heroes will hopefully be uh, my hero and we're gonna move on from there uh, running backs again the easy decision was uh, Dalvin Cook the uh, times two not number just a parallel so times two he's pretty high up there on the list for this week week one and uh, the second running back uh, not too many options only 40 cards you know so I could have done Aaron Jones no multiplier I could have done Melvin Gordon with a times two but I'm gonna go with the Austin Eckler with the times three multiplier in the RB2 spot. So again, multiplier should be nice, hopefully. Um, and then here, yeah, finally, quarterbacks. We had a lot of quarterbacks, but um, I'll go over. I could have done the uh, Homer with the uh, Danny Dimes. Not gonna do it. 
times three on the Cullen Mond. Can't do it. Uh, Josh Allen was an option, realistically, and Lamar Jackson. But I'm not going to do it, guys. I'm going to rely heavily on um, a rookie quarterback who plays for the New York Jets. That's right, guys. With the times six multiplier, I am going to start Zach Wilson. So, uh, yeah, this could be pretty good. He's only projected about 15 points, but, you know, with a nice multiplier, it could happen, guys. He could take me to uh, the next round. We have two weeks of getting points before we go into, like, the little mini playoffs for each uh, small tournament. So, four-week tournaments uh, times four for the season. And then I think we'll have, like, a, some kind of a champion's game at the end of the season so there you go guys that is my lineup everything was here all the parallel uh, multipliers are there so you guys can kind of get like a little understanding rather than me talk about it so yeah i hope uh hopefully this team gets the job done we'll see uh other teams other players descriptions or uh videos are in the description and you can check out who uh who they got in their lineups so yeah i guess uh maybe this weekend or next week uh i'll let you guys all know what the standings are so yeah, that's about it for me, guys. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and take care.